this artsy background is really easy to complete and I want to show you step by step how you can do it yourself. Today I'm going to show you how to do a really easy tie-dye background technique just by using a few basic supplies you probably already have on hand. Um, I'm starting out with just three dye ink pads. I'm using Aquamist, Blueberry Sky, and Winter Wisteria, but you could really use any trio you would like just as long as you have a light, medium, and dark. What you want to do is start with the lightest first, which for me would be Aquamist. And I have a sponge, and I'm going to load the sponge up with quite a bit of this ink. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in a circular, circular motion on a block of white cardstock. And you're probably going to want to layer a bit to get the color fairly saturated on the paper. It's important to remember to go in a circular motion when you're doing this for the final effect that we want to have. And you can do different sized um, circles. I'm going fairly large since we're going to end up layering three colors. But you can experiment with different sizes to see how your results will differ. You can get different looks that way. I'm going to do a set of three circles in this Aquamist color. I'm kind of staggering them a little bit. So there I've got three um, splotches of Aquamist. I'm going to move on to my medium color, which is Blueberry Sky. Again, load up my sponge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in the middle of each of these Aquamist circles. And the Blueberry Sky, or whatever medium color you're choosing to use, probably doesn't need to be applied quite as thickly because it's got the Aquamist to work with underneath it. And it's okay to have some of these going off the page. It kind of will give more interest to your final look when we're done. Okay, so now I've got the Blueberry Sky on and I'm going to move up to my darkest color, which is Winter Wisteria. And I'm just going to add a dab of that to the very center. Now, you could certainly leave this as is because it does look uh, kind of cool. But to get more of a tie-dye effect, I have a small bowl of water here and just a regular little round paintbrush. And I'm gonna get some water on my brush. Since this is dye ink, you can um, work with it um, with water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically draw small rings with the water. And you can see it's almost like magic. The ring is going to kind of disperse the ink a little bit and make it lighter in that one spot. I'm going to do another ring around that one. And they don't have to be perfect. Tie-dye in uh, the real world is never perfect, which is part of the beauty of it. I'm making another circle down here in the center of this one. And around the exterior of that. And you really can't mess this up. I mean, it's just a fun, artistic looking effect. So you can't really do it wrong. So there's my final tie dye effect for that background. And what I'm going to let this do is just let this dry a bit before I finish my card. To finish up my card, I have a sentiment from Simple Sentiments. Thinking of you, and I'm making it up with Blueberry Sky ink. And 
have a little three quarter inch strip of Aquamist cardstock here. I'm going to stamp my sentiment directly onto that. I'm going to run some adhesive along the back of that. I'm also going to um, put some adhesive on the back of the background that I created earlier. And I'm just going to adhere this onto a winter wisteria card base. Like that. And I'm going to go ahead and place this. Just a little bit on the high side. And here that. And I'm going to take a craft knife and just trim this strip on either side from the back. This will be a nice clean edge. And as a finishing touch, I've got some clear rhinestones, and I'm going to adhere uh, the largest one first, then the medium beside that, and follow that up. small one. Creating a little cluster, a little trio. And there you have the completed card. I hope you enjoyed this fun little technique today. As you can see it just uses some basic supplies that you probably already have around and I hope perhaps you'll give it a try and I'm looking forward to seeing your results for this challenge.